Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy. So this is a card of someone who is, um, you know, really going within, practicing introspection, reflection, maybe spending a lot of time in solitude, spending time alone. Um, there's just this feeling of withdrawing from the outside world or withdrawing from a situation to focus more on themselves. This person could also be healing or growing from what they've been through. There's an energy of acknowledging lessons and past mistakes and trying to grow from that understanding so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say so we have the knight of cups water energy the six of pentacles earth energy and the six of swords air energy so with the six of swords showing up here this can be a situation where you have moved on you've left something behind it may have been a difficult decision to make here there's this feeling of making a transition um, you know, choosing your peace over something that was very turbulent or dis distracting. There could have been a lot of conflict in that situation, but it's like moving on to calmer waters. Um, this can be you who has chosen to move on. It can also show that there's someone who wants to move on with you because we have the Knight of Cups here, which is showing someone with romantic intentions, someone who's wearing their heart on their sleeve, someone who is wanting to be affectionate and to make some sort of an offer here they want to offer you some sort of equal give and take they want to bring harmony to the situation with that six of pentacles being there it's like this person feels like they owe you though with that six of Pent six of pentacles because the the six of swords is showing that there was some sort of a fallout that may have happened because it's like leaving that five of swords where that is conflict rivalry um not seeing eye to eye it can even be defeat so you could have walked away and it's like this person is feeling the weight of your absence here and there's a desire to fix things they feel it's up to them to do that though with this um knight of cups that's them taking actions that's them uh you know pursuing peace here or making some sort of a peace offering or romantic gesture towards you uh because they want to heal the connection however you are still being seen as being a bit withdrawn when it comes to the situation you could be just taking your space right now so let's clarify these cards uh cancel Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of stability, reunions, um, achieving a milestone, having a goal in a relationship. So this person, they, they do want to um, give you some sort of stability or reassurance here. They want, they want you to see that they do prioritize the connection they share with you. They may even want to make something official here. Um, there's this feeling here of... Um, you know, going to a point of no return, uh, crossing some sort of a, a line here into a different um, stage in the connection. Um, and it's something that is considered a wish fulfillment, though, with this 1111 energy. They want to make this connection more stable and more of a priority. And they may want to, um, you know, introduce you to family, friends, but there's this feeling of wanting to kind of... Um, solidify this connection in some way to make it official okay so let's see okay we have the chariots cancer energy we have the two of cups water energy and the star aquarius energy so this person has hopes for this connection they feel like they want a renewal in love with that star card they are recognizing you as being the one for them with that two of cups they do see you as someone that. Um, they really want an equal give and take and a strong partnership with. They feel like this connection is uh, has the potential to really go the distance. With the chariot there, there's a strong determination on their part. You know, there's this feeling of there's obstacles, but no matter how tough it may be for them to um, achieve this goal, this four of wands goal of theirs, 
they're not going to give up. There's a very persevering energy with the chariot. That is someone who is using their willpower to make something happen. No matter what it takes, they are very driven to make this happen. And with the star card, they do see you as, you know, one of a kind. You're one of you're the one for them and they see a future with you as well. So this person is holding on to hope that they can have a renewal in love with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. Okay, we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So they want some sort of a new beginning in love, a re a rest like a restoration of this love. They This person really feels like you're the one for them and they, they want to make this happen. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this person feels uh, drawn towards you. It's almost instinctive. With the Two of Cups, they may even view you as like a past life love or even a soulmate with the Two of Cups. But they definitely feel like you guys are meant to be together with the Star card. They feel like you're the one for them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, we have pansy, sweet thoughts, pray you love, remember, and there are pansies, that's for thoughts. Okay, so this person, they, they really are thinking a lot about you and they're trying to stay optimistic. There is a fear here that, you know, their dream may not materialize here, but they're trying to stay optimistic. They're holding on to hope here. They definitely want to come towards you, whether there could be some travel involved here with the chariot, but they're trying to keep their thoughts positive because they really want that, that new beginning with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card out for your advice, Cancer. Okay, so we have Surrender the Drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Okay, so something about you going into hermit mode has actually benefited the situation. Um, there is this feeling of you having withdrew from the situation has kind of forced this person to reassess themselves and how they've approached you before there's just this feeling of um, wanting peace now wanting to approach the situation from a different perspective now okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer